everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. In the last video, I introduced you to a new tune, which was This Old Man. I hope you enjoyed playing that, and if you have, um, we're going to introduce you a new technique today, which will make tunes like that sound smoother. We're going to start to work on slurring. Now what slurring is, if you look at the slurring music on the bottom corner here the previous scale that I taught you was scale of C as you shown there on the first line the second line down is exactly the same scale but what we do instead of using our tongue to actually produce each and every note we use the tongue to produce the first note and then the valve combinations to go to each and every note thereafter so that smooths out I'll show you what I mean so let me play the first line, which is the tongued version. So in that, you can hear the definite start of every note, which is fine for some music, which needs that martial or more um, aggressive uh, start to, 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 the, to the note. But on some melodies, we need more legato, which means, means smooth playing. So let me play now the slurred version. So in that you can hear the all the notes are there but they're very smooth because you're using the valves to go from one note to the next so there's less if any gap between any of the notes. Okay so that <clears throat> in itself is quite easy to do. Um, we're going to play in a, a tune now, which I'm sure most of you will recognise as being Johann Strauss' Blue Danube. It's a waltz in 3-4 three, time, 3 crotchets per bar. And if you'll notice, some of the bars have a line under the notes, a curved line. That is the slur. So, the start of that bar with the slur, you, you tongue that first note and play the other two in that bar using your valves. Let me show you. There you go. So I'm sure you've noticed the difference between the tongued bars and the slurred bars. Also, if you look to the third line down, okay, third bar in, you'll see that the notes there have a tie, okay, which is basically a slur over notes of the same pitch. So obviously you don't need to press any valves, that just joins each bar together. For instance, that first C dotted minim there in uh, in the third bar is joined to the second dotted minim and is joined to the crotchet. So if you think about three crotchets per bar, you've got three in the first dotted minim, three in the second, and one carried over into the next bar. So that's seven counts. Okay, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, off. So that's the length of time you need to hang on to that note. So a tie is a slur with notes of the same pitch. Also in this particular piece of music I've introduced you to a new note. Um, if you look on the last line there you'll see a note in the third bar with a little what looks like a hashtag in front of it. That is a sharp. So what we've got there is F sharp. So normally an F would be on first valve but now we're raising it to an F sharp which we play on second valve so all valved instruments play F sharp on the second valve so have fun with that 
get introduced to slurring, see how it feels. It will smooth out melodies quite a lot. And I hope you've enjoyed watching so far. If you feel like you know you're learning something and want to come back, please click the link in the bottom right hand corner and subscribe. It'll certainly help the cause. And um, I'll see you next time with some work on vibrato, amongst other things. Bye for now. Thank you.